Hello, I'm Sid Lockhart, Sheriff of Chambers County, Alabama. I've served as Sheriff since 1995. I'm an 11-year breast cancer survivor. I realized that men could get breast cancer, and then I didn't realize how many men just in our area has had breast cancer. And all of a sudden, I started having heartburn. And I blamed that on one of my deputies when I had the accident. It, uh, <laughs> you know, it just uh, gave me heart. So I reached out and put my hand up here and I felt a knot. I knew that didn't feel right. So I went to the doctor the next day. They said, whatever it is, had to come out. They operated on me, came back, there was cancer. And I had to go through the chemo for several weeks. But I'm a survivor because I caught it early. So all the men that's out there looking, please, Keep a check on yourself, especially if it runs in your family, that uh, you may have the cancer gene. Hello, I'm Steve Trammell. I'm the mayor of the city of Westport, Georgia, and I'd like to tell you about my mother's battle with cancer. The first learned of my mother's cancer it was uh, September of 1994. She had uh, skipped a year on her mammograms and felt a lump, and I've since learned this is very common, and was diagnosed with uh, stage serious and of course as any family member would be we're very worried about her um, she battled cancer for 14 years she was in dr. Galishaw's office up in uh, Alpharetta Georgia and was the longest survivor they ever had that did not go back into remission so she she fought it for 14 years so it was it was a long hard battle for her uh, as long as she fought it we always had the hope that she was gonna she was gonna win you know and those self-checks, getting your mammograms regularly because there are people out there that love you. Even though you don't may want to do this, you need to do it for them. So, you know, I'd give anything if my mother had had, had that mammogram. So, Y'all do that too. Hello, my name is Carlos Williams. I'm the Creative Services Manager here at WRBL and I've been here for 41 years, believe it or not. Uh, back in 1995, uh, my wife Christine was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, on that day, it seemed like uh, everything came to a halt. Uh, when the doctor broke the news to her or to us, um, she just started screaming and hollering, and the only person that could calm her down was uh, her sister, Carolyn, and the, who, was her, who was her best friend as well. Uh, Carolyn was a nurse, so I think my wife trusted her uh, a little better than uh, others. But um, got her calmed down, and um, almost immediately we decided to roll up our sleeves and fight, not to just take this news line down. Um, Christine passed in 2005, but uh, not before a uh, lengthy battle uh, against breast cancer. Uh, her message to others, I'm sure, would be, uh, you know, to get your yearly mammograms, uh, your uh, breast cancer exams. You can also consult your local physicians about uh, you know the timeliness of those uh, exams. Surely, if there is history within your family, a mother or grandmother, uh, that you need to get those exams more often. And then there's your monthly uh, self-breast uh, exam as well. Uh, I managed to, uh, I would say to men that when your wife, or if your wife is ever diagnosed, uh, to be there with her. Because um, usually when they get that news, they're in shock and they don't hear everything the doctor is saying even during um, regular doctor's appointments. Once they got that uh, initial news, they just kind of shut down because they don't want to hear any bad news. So from a man's standpoint, be there with your wife. Um, and that was one thing that my mother told me. She said, stick by your wife. And so I'll say that to the men out there. To the women out there, I'll say, read your Bible and just be strong and know that uh, God is there to protect you. Thank you. Curly Webster Gibson. I am a graduate of the Alabama State University here in London. Class 1955. When I was diagnosed with breast cancer, I was hit with fear, believing what I had heard that breast could not be cured. I thought 
thought about my children and my grandchildren because I asked God to let me live to be with them and help them to have a future. I want you to be conscious that cancer does not discriminate age, gender, or race. And most importantly, I want you to remember that it does not discriminate against sororities nor fraternities.